the children, we have babysitters coming over, it's his parents that are coming over to watch the kids. So I'm about to get ready for that, so I thought I'd do a little chit chat, kind of get ready with me. So I'm going to pull my hair back. I plan to actually do my hair and fix it after I do my makeup, but I thought, you know what, it's date night, I'm doing a little bit of more, I guess, exciting makeup. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I thought I would film it for you guys. I've just started with moisturizing because my skin has been so dry, it's ridiculous. I don't know if I can say it's just the weather, but I honestly feel like my skin is changing. Um, maybe with age, I don't know. I'm just getting a lot more dry, so I need lots of moisturizer. All right, so I do know I want to use this new lipstick I picked up. It's from Revlon. It's the Super Lustrous line, and it's the color 850 Plum Velour, and it's much darker than... Oh, my hands are slippery now from the uh, moisturizer, but it's much darker than anything I typically go for, but I don't know. I was just feeling like I wanted to rock kind of more of a bolder look. That's what it looks like there. It's like a deep... Plum, but I see some raspberry in it too. It looks a lot darker in the tube than it actually does on your lips So I know I want to use that as far as eyeshadow. I'm thinking um, Probably something more matte because I've been liking the look of matte eyeshadow and with such a bold lip I just think it will pair well. So I'm going to prime my skin first I was going to use my L'Oreal Magic Lumi primer because I've really been loving this but then I just saw these samples that I've had Sitting here forever, so why not use them? I have a Benefit Stay Flawless and a Cora's Anti-Aging Primer. Mm. I think I'm going to go with the Benefit one. So I'm just going to pop that on my skin. It's quite an interesting looking product. It's a uh, skin tone, a little bit peachy toned. Oh my goodness. And it's hard as a rock. I don't know if it's supposed to be that. I'm kind of... <laughs> scared to use it. I don't know if it's supposed to be that chunky and hard or if it's just dried out. I haven't had it that long. Man, this is chunky. There's definitely a lot in the package, so I'm not going to need the whole thing. Oh, it's blending in. It's just a little bit more difficult to blend in. Alright, do I have that on? It's like a stickier feeling product. It's less my skin feeling not shiny, just kind of extra sticky, so I'm thinking the foundation's going to grip to it really well. Alright, I don't know if I'm a big fan of that, but I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation, and I'm just going to pop that on with a beauty blender. I feel like this primer has mattified my skin, so probably wasn't the best choice considering I have dry skin. So if you have oily skin, I would check out this uh, Primer because yeah, it's left my skin pretty darn matte, but I'm gonna use my dewy finish Setting spray. Hopefully that will counteract some of that. I should also mention this video Is probably going up way after Valentine's Day because I have a bunch of backlogged videos That I need to get up prior to this so if you're wondering That's why all right I'm gonna go in with some concealer and I'm going to use the trusty old age rewind from Maybelline I have been trying out this L'Oreal true match um, concealer recently and I'm honestly not a big fan. I was thinking maybe I should put up a video, like you know how I do my monthly favorites? I was thinking maybe I should put up a video of all the things I try that I'm not a big fan of. Like, um, I know some people add that into their monthly favorites, but I don't always have things that I don't like and a lot of things I'm kind of neutral about. So, I don't know if you guys would enjoy that. Let me know if you want a video, something like that. Something that I tried out and it didn't work for me and I probably wouldn't repurchase. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wish I would have done my eyes first. I always love doing my eyes first and I can clean everything up with my foundation, but I always forget, like it's very rare that I remember, oh yeah, start with your eyes and then do your foundation, so. Well, it is what it is. So I'm going to do my eyebrows now with this e.l.f. eyebrow kit thingy that I've really been liking. I feel like I need a different brush for it though. This one is just so small and hard to hold. Um, I tried using a different kind of angled brush I had, but... It wasn't quite thick enough and it was a bit too flimsy, so that didn't work out either. So I don't know. Let me know, if you use this product, what do you guys use with it? Do you use the actual brush it comes with? Or do you have another brush you would recommend? I would love to know. I'm going to take this little single from Wet n Wild. It's called Creme Brulee. I've talked about it before. It's just a neutral color. I feel like this one is one of the most pigmented, just neutral matte colors that I own. There's a similar color in the Stila in the Light palette, which I'm probably going to use, but it's not as pigmented, so I love this. I'm just going to take a big 
fluffy brush thing and stick it all over my eyelid right up to the brow bone. I also wanted to mention, I finally remember to say this in a video, I have Instagram now. It's very exciting to me. Um, I've known about Instagram forever now. I just never really um, took the time to check it out and sign up. So I now have Instagram and I've really been enjoying it. I try and post pictures as often as I can. I post pictures like of family stuff, my kids and whatnot, but I also post pictures of different makeup looks or beauty things that I'm trying out. So if you're interested, follow me. I'll leave it down below, but it's Allison K Family. All right, using the Steel in the Light palette, I'm gonna use this color Bliss as a transition color in my crease. It's like, um, I don't know. It's not a brown. It's definitely got more pink in it, maybe a little bit of purple in it. And I just feel like it brings out the green in my eyes. So I've been using it a lot more than my Naked palette um, the Naked color, which I use a lot as a transition color too, but I just feel like this color is a little extra special. So I'm just going to blend that in really roughly into my crease. All right, I'm actually changing my mind partway through. I was going to do a black wing eyeliner like I typically do, but I think I'm going to do more of a smudgy, smoldery type eyeliner. So I don't know, I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to take this color Sandstone from the same palette. It's just a darker darker brown I guess on the warmer spectrum and I'm taking more of a pointed brush and I'm just going to concentrate that on the outside of my eyelid and then just drag a little bit into the crease. I love this this brush for blending and just for precision. I don't know. It's definitely my favorite. It's the Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45. Um, and I have, I always have Sigma linked down below with their current coupon code. I think it's 10% off if you want to check it out, but picked up a bunch of new brushes recently and, uh, this is definitely one of my favorites. While I have that just on my brush here, I'm going to take what's left and just drag it down underneath the lower lash line. Should probably have you guys zoomed in, hey? That <laughs> would probably help. Um, it's not blended out yet, so don't judge. But, uh. Just gonna drag some underneath here, connect the two together, and then I will blend it out. I actually have a busy uh, upcoming few weeks here. Um, well, today's Valentine's Day, and then my girlfriend, one of my best girlfriend's birthday is on Valentine's Day, um, and she's gonna be celebrating it tomorrow, so we're going downtown tomorrow for her birthday, so I'm gonna be doing even more makeup then, probably busting out the false eyelashes. I don't think I'm gonna do that with this look, because we're not really doing anything after dinner, but. So yeah, that's happening, and then on Tuesday the 18th, it's my birthday, um, unfortunately I work that day, so nothing's really happening, but I'm going to be celebrating it on the following Saturday, and then I have a girlfriend from out of town who I haven't seen in forever, from, back from high school coming into town, um, I'm excited to see her, and then at the end of the month, I actually have my high school reunion, uh, <laughs> and I'm turning 29 this year, so my high school reunion should have been last year, but where does that disorganize? So it's like, I don't know, a little bit late. So they're doing it. Not sure if I'm going to go or not yet, though. I'm trying to see if my friends that I'm still connected with are going. Um, I don't really want to show up by myself. Um, spouses are not invited because my grad class was, what was it, 1,200 in our just our grad class? I went to a school that was just grade 11 and 12. Um, and there was close to 3,000 people in the school. So needless to say, I don't even know half the people in my grad class. So yeah, undecided on that one, but I thought I would share. I feel like this look could use a little bit more color. I'm just kind of winging it. This is not a tutorial. This is me randomly doing my makeup. This is the Balm Jovi palette, and the blush color I use as an eyeshadow quite often. It's a matte peach color. And I'm going to use it, let me grab a different brush, very lightly, just above my crease, um, just kind of in this area here. Just brings a little bit of extra something, if you know what I mean. I don't know, when my eyes are open, I just like the, the color it brings in there. I'm also going to pop some right in here, where the brown is meeting the uh, beige shade. Okay, I'm going to take the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer now. And I'm just going to place it down roughly on my lash line. And then the other side of this pencil has one of those smudger dewies. So I'm going to smudge it out with... Oh, what the heck? Weird, I pulled the whole thing off. 
Good thing I didn't break it because I didn't want my eyeliner to end up looking like this in the end. But yeah, I'm gonna smudge it. All right, so one eye worked out better than the other. I hate when that happens. Um, I'm just gonna take this black Avon liner. Sorry, camera died. I'm going to rim my upper waterline. I'm debating if I want to do my bottom one or not yet. I feel like it might be too much with the lipstick. So I'm gonna hang off on that and we'll see after. I'm gonna set my under eye concealer with the e.l.f. High Definition Setting Powder, which I have been loving. It is such a cool little powder and it's so inexpensive. Where did my brush go? The NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder Pressed. Long friggin' name. But I'm just using that for the rest of my face. Then the NARS Laguna Bronzer. All right, I'm gonna hold off on blush until I apply this lipstick because I feel like it's going to be quite intense. Actually, let me check to see if I have a lip liner first. Nope, none of the lip liners I have up here are uh, anywhere near dark enough, so I'm gonna do the lips. All right, so here's the lips. I am loving it. It's uh, quite dramatic, but I'm really liking it. So I'm gonna use this blush because it's quite light. It's from Essence, it's called Sweetheart. Um, and it's honestly, I mean, it's pigmented, but it doesn't show up. It's like very close to skin tone. So I don't think it'll interfere too much. And then I'm just gonna do some highlighting with the Lorac Perfectly Lit Spotlight. I have so many different highlighters, but um, this one I always go to, it's just the easiest. It's like foolproof, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the cream ones or the loose pigment ones. I just feel like you can get in trouble with those really fast. I don't know if it's just me, but um, this one's just easy. All right, sorry, the lighting's changing. I'm trying to back up. But um, before I do my mascara, I'm gonna use the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray, which I've been loving. Feels weird to spray yourself on the face, but uh, it really helps set things. It gives a little bit of life back to your skin. You don't look so powdery. So that's why I like this. All right, and lastly, mascara. I'm gonna use the Tarte Light Camera Flashes first, and then try and pair it with my Jordana because this stuff doesn't give a lot of length, but it gives a really nice fluttery, like voluminous look to the lashes. I did a first impressions on it, which I will link down below. Hopefully that's up before this. If it's not, it'll be coming. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I just got dressed and did my hair so it looks presentable now. Um, and here is the finished makeup. So I'll zoom in for you so you can see it. Hopefully, here's the eyes. It's not exactly what I was going for, but it'll do. And there's the lips. I actually, um, I've had the lipstick, lipstick on for like 45 minutes now and it's totally fine. It's not showing any signs of coming off, so I think it's going to be a decent one. So yeah, and then very minimal blush. So that is my Valentine's Day makeup. My hair is just straight. This is a shirt I got from H&M and it's just got a little heart cut out kind of thingy that I like. So yeah, that is it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope you guys had enjoyed. Um, leave me comments below. I love reading them and hit like. It really helps me out and I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!